What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM1019 and welcome to Paper Mario Color Splash. So at the time of this recording, um, the trailer for Origami King has dropped about a week ago and I would like to play this game one more time. I've only played it once. I'd like to play this game one more time before Origami King gets released. Uh, probably because Origami King is looking like it's going to resemble this game the, clo the most. Um, I remember having a lot of fun with this game. It was a significant improvement from Sticker Star, and I'm excited to uh, play this game one more time. So let's get into it. Alright, so, Princess Peach got, uh, a toad, a paper toad mailed to her that was completely devoid of all life and color, and it appeared to have been sent from Port Prisma. So, we're taking a boat here to, po to uh, Port Prisma to check out what exactly is happening. Port Prisma is peaceful and quiet. Really quiet for some reason. And this is Princess Peach, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Tourist destination seems a little quiet. I think they prepare a warmer welcome for the princess and Mario. Damn, <laughs> Mario got crumpled into a ball somehow. Iron yourself out, man. Oh, I gotta do that. <laughs> there we go. It's Mario! <clears throat> Only clue is that he was postmarked in Port Prisma. We want to head to the Prisma Fountain in the center. It's the biggest tourist attraction. Proceed with caution. Alright. So, I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat, this is, um, the battle system is obviously nothing like, um, nothing like it is in Thousand Year Door. And Thousand Year Door is a significantly high, uh... Wait, Bad Design 101? White letters and a white sign? That's like Bad Design 101. Uh, it's a significantly, uh, different battle system. Um, and one of the major, um... One of the major points of contention about Color Splash is that fighting in this game is practically worthless. It, there's no reward to fighting except for, um hammer upgrades, 
are points to in which to increase the amount of paint your uh, hammer can hold. There is no EXP tracking or any stat like there was in Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door. So I'm not certain how much battling I'm going to try and get into here. There's very obvious fights I can't skip, but some of them I'm going to try... Some of the fights I'm, I'm just going to try to avoid for the sake of timing here. Or else we'll be at this Let's Play for weeks. So let's... Uh, we got a hammer here. Let's hit stuff with it. I like how even the coins are paper. Oop, come on. Well, the only benefit... Now, the benefit to... to, um... battling a lot is that it's easy to get perfect bonuses and get a lot of coins. So, maybe. We'll, we'll see what, um... Maybe we'll battle, maybe we won't. We already have 50 health. And I'm, I'm really, really hoping that, um... That when Origami King comes out, they they changed at least a few things to make it feel like the 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 golden days of Paper Mario. So here's the center of Port Prisma. There are color splot missing pieces of color everywhere. There are colorless toads. There's like empty an empty well here. This place is a ghost town right now. You sure this is the Prisma Fountain? According to the guidebook, this is the rainbow. This is the, uh, this is the fountain. The glorious rainbow of happiness and joy. Doesn't seem right. I'll take a look and see if I can find anybody. He's definitely mailed from Port Prisma. Who would have done such a thing? Some kind of device just rose out of the fountain. Appears to be some sort of failsafe for the fountain. Emergency recovery unit. In case of emergency, activate the three switches hidden in the plaza. Blue, hit, yellow, pull, red, jump. So, let's see. There's a couple switches we gotta look for. I don't think... Yeah, okay. I don't think they were talking about these right here. So here's there's the blue switch. We need to find a red switch and jump on it. And this might be the yellow switch. Yep, there's our yellow switch. Now we just gotta find a red switch to jump on. And I think it's this right here. There we go. Try opening the lid. Specialized tool to open a can like that. And the only thing we have is a bit more blunt. Let's take a swing at it. <laughs> it's Huey! <laughs> what was that for? Oh, would you like it if I whacked you with a hammer while you were sleeping? thought you were a paint can, so we tried to open you up. You think I'm just some regular paint can? You don't look like you're from around here, so I'll forgive you for that comment, but I'm so much more than that. Now I'm awake, you want to grab a burger or something? Your treat? <laughs> Not an ordinary letter, it's a toad drained of color. This is my friend, Mario. Oh yeah, great. Okay, thanks, princess. Jumps on things and hits them with a hammer when necessary. Very bright and hardworking retainer around here somewhere. Well, the retainer sounds like he's in trouble. I 
That didn't sound good. Might be in trouble. We're coming. Let's go chase after that toad. Well, looks like we found the source of, uh, of why the color's getting drained out. I can't feel my pants. I did find something that might come in handy. Take these and remember me. So he gave us a bunch of cards. As the slurp guy continues to drain the toe to color. Battle, use the battle cards. Hold it. You even have any paint? Uh, what? <laughs> you know, paint. That colorful stuff coursing through our bodies? No? What are we gonna do? There's no paint around here. No other choice. You're gonna have to ring me out. Just press A to give me a squeeze. So, we're gonna squeeze Huey. And Huey is now paperized. So light and airy, is this what you paper folk feel like all the time? <laughs> My blood, sweat, and tears. You'll have time to shower later. <laughs> Power up those battle cards the friend gave me. Use the battle cards to plaster this introverted assassin. Hey, so we're just gonna go ahead and attack now. <laughs> No, it's not cool, and since one of the three of you, we got cards, we get the point, you know what to do. Alright. So, right off the bat... Uh, right off the bat, we, we get to see, like, some of the differences in this battle system here. Um, notably that it's super simplified. There's no um, attack numbers when damaging. Uh, it's... It's got its pros and cons. It's not great, and it's not awful. Alright, so Huey is giving me the tutorial on the gamepad, which you can't see. I'm just kind of skipping through it, because I know what to do. Okay, I'm going to take this double card. Yes, yes, thank you. Send them off. Alright, here we go. Timed hits are still in effect. Time your attacks well, you can do up to five jumps. Also tap the gamepad instead of pressing A. It's the law. Pressing A right before the enemy attacks. Alright, I'm gonna use a rusty shoe on this guy. Impressed. <laughs> Everyone, a moment of silence, please. Man, I'm starving. How about that burger? Don't worry about Toad there. He'll be fine. Lock it off, bud. Well, maybe he's in rougher shape than I thought. Just needs a fresh coat of paint. He'll be good. We'll come back as a zombie Toad, right? No man will be the same Toad. That's the power of paint. Just not, not just for powering up battle cards, adds beauty to the life of the world. 
Loading all your ham loading your hammer with all the colors of the rainbow. Give it a swing. Just five more minutes, Mom. I'm alive! I can feel my pants, yay! <laughs> Dr. Colors, we can hardly recognize you. That's the power of paint. I gotta warn you, I have gave you everything I've got, but it won't last forever. I'm gonna have to resupply from time to time. In case we can ambush any more freaks of the bendy straws, we're exactly supposed to find this light-giving paint. Remember that fountain? You know, the one where I was taking a nap? It's the prime source of paint in all Prism Island. Six big paint stars hooked up to the thing, and they'll put out as much paint as you like. Paint pretty much flies out of everything around here. Hitting stuff with your hammer, you'll see what I mean. The fountain looked completely dry when you woke up. Guess we just needed to turn it on or something, right? It was definitely dry. Dry? Good one, Toad. Mario, you might want to give this guy another whack with the hammer. Our big paint stars can never run dry. Come on, I'll show you. So, Huey's kind of been literally living under a rock, so... Um, he doesn't really have any idea about what's going on. So, let's go around and kind of pick up some paint and resupply here and there. And uh, we're going to revive some of the locals. Nice thing I remember surrounded by a bunch of thirsty shy guys. <laughs> Are you some sort of Mario impersonator? How much you make for a gig like this? Eight, nine coins an hour? Stop by my shop and pick up some battle cards. So that's the shop, Toad. Okay, I guess a bunch of uh, shy guys made off with some cards. Nice work with the battle cards. I gotta say, though, your action command game is looking a little sketchy. If you ever want to practice, just stop by the dojo. <laughs> yeah, okay. Never mind that I just aced that battle. Precious big paint stars, they're all gone! He's ugly crying in there. <laughs> Don't cry, Pink Can. Maybe we can help you find them. What are they called? Big Paint Stars? No use. They're gone. All gone. Poor Prisma without Big Paint Stars is like a tuna fish sandwich without ketchup. That actually doesn't sound good. <laughs> You're right. I don't really understand the analogy, and secondly, gross. <laughs> What's the smell? It smells like a paint star. One of the big paint stars is up uh, at the top of Port Prisma, apparently. I'm gonna recover the big paint star. He'd sacrifice my lifeblood to get you out of that pickle. Mr. Can is my father. You can call me Huey. <laughs> I'll just tuck myself in your pocket. If you want to chat, just press up to summon me. Alright. I know this town like the back of my can, so don't hesitate to ask me any advice. Go paint the town red, and hopefully other colors. And you stay crisp in the face of crum crumpling adversity. Thanks, princess. Alright, so let's, uh... Let's, um, try to color this place up a little bit. Every time we do, we get some coins. So... Just kind of help Port Prisma look a little better. <laughs> so this toad is letting us know that we can hit just about anything. It won't hurt, and um, it'll give us back color or paint that we can use. And that's another good reason for coloring the place up. Sometimes it'll drop action cards, which we're going to need a lot of. So let's make this place look a little more presentable. Just to kind of get started, because we're going to be coming back to Port Prisma a lot, so... So you don't have the right color to paint this spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can hit the toads. It doesn't really do anything. Oop, can't 
can't hit this flower. There we go. Stop leaving me alone, I'm just trying to deliver the mail. What happens? The last thing I remember is being assaulted by a bunch of shy guys with straws? Just a dream. I still feel like there's something wrong in my head. Can you take a look? <laughs> I'm Toadmaster General in Port Prisma. Feel free to stop by my humble postal branch. You can even set up your mail to be forwarded here. Alrighty. Destroy our beloved prism, our beautiful prism fountain. <laughs> Welcome to Red District, by the way. This town's starting to look a lot better. Let's um, go check out these other districts if we can. Looks like we're having some problems here, too. Oh, I'm out of yellow. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick reminder, you're not sure what to do. Just talk to you. I know. This door's as good as new. It should open right up now. Yes, I know. Thank you. Not the bridge. Anything but the bridge. Oh. It really stinks. Most of the good stuff is in the blue district. Projects were being nice right about now. Don't we have one for Prisma? <clears throat> He's out of town doing something. Alright, we'll have to come back to that later. <laughs> Huey really wants us to talk to him. There, I talked to you. Alright, let's save this little. Whoop! I mean, boom! Jump should be fine. I've already got one here. <laughs> Hammer scrap. Collect enough of these, it'll store more paint. Let me drop them after battles to pick them up. Good night, cruel world. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
lost the fight to the Goomba just like Grandma. Oh, well, it used to be. Who knows how much my paint suckers are stolen by now. What's going on here? Using the water flowing, making the wheel spin around look super cool. Now it's just sitting there looking moderately cool. And that's not cool enough. Well, we better fix it, huh? Easily my top 500 favorite water wheels. Yes, I have seen over 500 water wheels. <laughs> what the scrap? Why is the wheel spinning? Well, fine then. Say goodbye to your top 500 status, you lazy water wheel. <laughs> I don't think I can jump. No, I can't. Okay. Let's go over this way. another slurp guy. Probably gonna have to take him out. What? Okay. Ew, you wanna hear a juicy secret? Just come a little closer. That's it. Slurp. Where'd my straw go? <laughs> yeah, looks like he wasn't 100% prepared. Secret, I wear a mask because I'm afraid to put myself out there. Yeah, you, well, you're a slurp guy, which is a derivative of a shy guy, so I'm not surprised. It's terrible. A gang of shy guys with straws were roaming around Port Prisma stealing everybody's paint. I activated the emergency TP system here, but there's no way we can use this much TP, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Fix it for you, I guess. Okay, I need more yellow paint before I can put the grass back here. Oh, hey, another shy guy. All right, we got a first strike that time, which, yeah, didn't really do much for me. I'm gonna use this hammer. Cool, we got enough scraps already for an upgrade. Which refills our color, so that's great. Oh, come on. There we go. Everything done? You repainted everything? Defeated the bad guys? Saved the good guys? What do you mean, no? Get to work, buddy. I kind of just got here. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh well. I'll just, I'll get back up there. I have to go back this way now. Oh, I missed the spot over here.
Whoops. Ah, eh, whatever. I'm in the yellow district. Thought I could camouflage myself by standing against a yellow wall, but they still got me. I only wanted to try cordless bungee jumping. It's not really bungee jumping. Mario, in here, help me. Oh, brother. Yep, so that's to teach us that we can get ambushed occasionally. I'm trying so hard at these action commands right now is because I'm just trying to grind for coins. The more coins we have, the better. Never have too many coins. Whoa, Tiger, take it easy. What were you expecting? Apologies for the rather uh, non existent welcome to Port Prisma. No doubt aware of it dealing with an invasion. Open up your these would have been your guest quarters. Offer you a belated welcome to our humble town. Must be tired from your voice. Feel free to rest in these quarters. Alright, so Peach is in a guest quarter now. She's relatively, relatively safe in there. So, we're just gonna leave her alone. Oh. Control of Goombas. So the cool thing about hammers, they have an area of effect kind of thing. So we can shoot up this one, and if we time this right, we can damage all we can damage at least the other one behind him. Yep, just like that. Ah, there we go. So early battling's kind of worth it because we can get paint scraps early, but, um, like, it's gonna turn out to not be so worth it eventually. He's so focused on stealing paint he hasn't even noticed us approaching. It's probably why the wheel's not spinning. He's taking color right out of the water. Ooh! Lots of coins. And whack! Oops! There we go. I almost forgot to paint this card. Let's get this water some color and get the wheel flowing again. Run! in Port Prisma again, so things are already looking up. Here's the paint star. 
I mean, it's a big paint star, Mario. Let's go grab it. This isn't a big paint star after after all. It's much too small. This is a mini paint star. Not to worry. This is a good sign. Mini paint stars are kind of like baby paint, big paint stars. We must be on the right track. Mini ones will always lead to bigger ones. Well, the wind's starting to blow. An airship's leaving with a large bucket of paint. Well, that's not good. An airship's making an awfully huge bucket of paint. Let's grab this and get moving. Course clear. So every time we course clear, we get to do this. We, it's going to shower us with coins and paint. We get to re we get to resupply. Alright, so that's, um, we, the beginning took us a bit to get through here, so I'm going to head back to Port Prisma, and we're going to save and call this an episode, because, uh, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can make this, um, more than just one course clear per episode, or else we're going to be here for a long time, so, um, we'll see how this works. I'm just gonna, so to kind of round out this episode, I'm just gonna clean, uh, clean the city up a little more, or clean up Port Prisma, and, um, we will call that an episode. Port Prisma's looking pretty good. Don't need to talk to you right now. Okay, I think, yeah, we can't get across the bridge, so that's all we're going to be able to... Well, wait a minute, can we... I don't think the game will let us do this. Oh, no, we can't get across the water, so... Alright, let's save. Save block, hit it to save your progress. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, guys, we're going to call that an episode for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check me out at uh, Twitch, or no, check out the YTR forums for more YTR and GSL fun, and if you haven't had enough of me, check me out at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel, streaming whenever I can. And we'll see you next episode. Strap yourselves in, guys. It's going to be a long journey. Take care, y'all.